No, no sauce and Is it good? No, you ain't had it yet? No, not yet. I waited. I went oh. back in line to get you guys some frog legs. Yeah, back in line from where? From you. Oh, you didn't frog go in line for me. Look at them frog legs. That ain't, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't, we gotta keep you healthy. That, no, nope, You gonna try some? Oh, I can. Why? I'm gonna eat the salad over here. <laughs> Just looking at that makes me wanna cry. Why? Oh, I don't know. Are you, I don't even Does like frogs. Does that bring back memories from home? No, it makes my stomach turn. It makes me wanna cry. Yeah. That's you what messed it up for. Is this, a, are they any I good? Yeah, I have oh, one that's over here. Girl. girl, I'll come cry with you. Like I feel they're actually pretty good. I'm in the yum. wrong place. <laughs> yum, yum. Just gonna move, move out the way. Girl, you got chicken. That ain't chicken. That's good. That's like That's a slimy little. No, I don't like. I don't oh, care about a frog. They fry oh, off the slime. Do you like chicken? Oh, you like chicken? You like chicken? Well, I oh, love you, hey, chicken, but that. Ain't, look at that. You can see the little feet. Yes, yes. That's nasty. I mean, don't you eat chicken legs? No, I don't eat chicken legs. What chicken breast. That's it. That's it. That's it. I'm picky. I don't eat nothing like that. That's money going back to the drawer. That could. I mean, a frog could probably eat. We me. do deliveries. Not really. <laughs> So what's your name? Grace. Grace? Okay. I don't think you've been here when I filmed before. I have not. But I do know about you. Okay. Timmy talks a lot about okay. you. Well, we're just back again today. Seeing what's going on. Anything exciting happened today? No, we've been steady. we steady. Send the big boss home. Yeah. She can't listen and stay off her leg and race. Grace. Grace has been here the longest. Oh really? Have you not? Yeah. More than not, longer than Katie and not consistently, but I have been here the longest. She's got seniority, but we can't let her know that because that won't give us any. <laughs> well, I, I've seen her here the last couple times. I don't think I really filmed much those times that the car the car event and then last Saturday. I wasn't really filming too much on those days. It's yeah. hard to lose a lot. It's so, it's so noisy you can't I hardly film anything. Turn that down a little bit. Can you well, I'm talking about the events, you know, when you got so many people in cars and stuff. You, I tried to film some people and it was like, you couldn't hear them really. Okay. Well, great. I've been here since I was like 13. Yeah. And I'm 21 in September. Oh, yeah? So I've been here a little minute. You must have started when she first opened up, back up, huh? Kind of. Well, she was open for a while before, but my aunt used to come buy cheese and sell her eggs. Right. Oh, okay. Did you, have you met Lois? No. Does she make the cheese? No. Lois, um, so I'll tell you the story and then we'll tell you about Grace. My version of Grace. Lois, her aunt, by, they say they're sisters from another mother. Is that how they said it? Anyway, her husband was uh, ill, had some illness going on, health issues, and her and her mom and family had come up here to spend time with Lois, and they would come up here and get food. And Lois and I had not actually met men. And so, um, I know I've told you this before, but anyway, they would come in here, and it was the, about the time that I was learning to step out and pray for people. And um, when you're praying for people you don't know, you have to exercise faith because you don't know for sure if they're going to say that it's you know, okay to pray. But anyway, they would come up here and I would pray with them. And then they would go back. And finally, I got to meet Lois after her uh, husband passed away. And she started helping me and she made bread and she started making my fried pies and she started helping me. She's the one that I, reason I do Saturday morning breakfast. And then Gracie was living with her. She moved up here and started living with her. And so she would bring Gracie with her and they would, and I don't think I paid you. She just wore, she would just not, yeah, cause she was just Lois's helper or whatever. But Grace was a great influence for me because I was learning, she's probably the first of all my girls that I mentored. So Grace would go to worship with me and she'd go to church with me. And so anyway, so she got a special place in my heart. Then she ran away for a while and went back to Florida. <laughs> and now she's back. She, so anyway. She figured out she didn't like Florida, didn't she? It was too hot. Too, too hot. hot. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So that's how. And then Grace started working for me. 
like working, working for me. Yeah, I know I broke my ankle, but I'm, I keep saying on the positive side. I mean, I was kind of not in a very good frame of mind until two days ago, and then I said, you know, there's a testimony. I don't know what it is yet, but I, at least I woke up and I was breathing today. So. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, anyway, so yeah, so Grace would, I would give Grace advice and pray with her and anyway, so it was good. So Did you get her straightened out finally? Well. Work, still a work in progress? I think so. I'll tell this. She probably couldn't be telling this. If she doesn't want me to tell it, then we can just edit it out. But she's, so she has a boyfriend, kind of, I'm hoping a fiance soon. And um, so the fiance was not saved. And so she was going back to church where we go to church. Well, all the cra crazy in my life, I hadn't been going to church, so she was just going on her own. Of course, when she moved back here, I will have to say, she's like one of my children, so I was a little bit worried about her. But I thought, well, the seeds have been planted, so that's all you can do. And so she went to church one night, and her and him and I happened to be there. And uh, anyway, she came back up and wanted me to pray for her, and he went to the pastor and got saved. So she had been working... I guess you had been, te you know, witnessing to him, and and <laughs> she just put she just put a big in her mouth. But anyway, she'd been witnessing to him and and um, just encouraging him, and so that made me really proud. That I don't even know Jackson Jackson that well, but anyway, it touches my heart. He's like one of mine now, like one of mine. So anyway, you gonna say anything about it now that your mouth hasn't got no food in? No, but she can't. I can't say she's been the biggest uh, mentor. I can say I have had. Helped me through a lot. Well, they see me transparent, the ugly side and the good side. And then I had to have a talk with God two days ago, and I was like, okay, fine, Lord, I'll get off my self pity party and start encouraging these girls again to do what they need to do. So, so they're here running the show by themselves, and uh, they're doing good. They're doing great. So you say your cast is about to come off next week? Yes, so I broke my ankle. Uh, and uh, let's see, it'll be three weeks tomorrow. Three weeks tomorrow. And I get my cast off Tuesday. So, um, yeah. How'd you I do that? I uh, stepped on my porch. I, sure. <laughs> I don't know, I just stepped up on my porch and then my ankle just give and I just, I wasn't twisted it, I don't know. Anyway, so. I don't know what happened, but there's... Maybe you just need to slow down a little bit. That's what everybody keeps saying, and I just want to... Mm. <laughs> I think that's going to be the testimony behind it. The testimony behind it that I had to slow down? I had to slow down and sit down for a minute. Well, it, it, it does make you, like, everything slow. You do everything slower. Where I'm usually really fast-paced, and I'm having to remember that it takes me a few minutes longer. But then I'm having to take care of Gary, so that makes it hard too because, you know, it's just. Well, I can finally say, in almost eight years of living, or working with her, I finally caught up with her broken ankle. <laughs> that slowed her down enough to catch up with her? Yeah. Barely. Barely. She's still, They've been laughing. She's hopping along still, ain't she? She does. <laughs> We're going to go. I'm going to make some fried pies for Alinka today. That way we have a start for next week and anyway but life is good these pieces is up here on the top shelf i've had some people tell me they wanted to see more stuff i was too fast and i didn't i always get a lot of suggestions on how to do things so i try to listen a little bit it's okay them. but just some people are just interested in the, some of the old stuff up here is some and we've talked about this probably before but this was when you took the store back over it was some of this stuff still been here for many years hasn't it or yeah everything that's up there on the top shelf has been here ex with the exception of a few things all i did was go up and clean it and then like the thread case on the end my uncle give there was several thread cases that he gave me so i put it up there and like the santa claus um I acquired my sister give. I mean, there's just, I have added stuff, but most of the stuff, like all of the tobacco stuff was in here. The, the thread cases, was that something they used in the store maybe, or is that something we you just know, picked up? I don't know. 
That's a good question. He had him at his house, and he just give him, he brought him. He was cleaning his house out, and he gave him to me. Maybe at one time they were in here, and then he took them, and then they got brought back. I don't know. I don't I'd have to ask him, wouldn't I? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Oh yes, I must tell this about my cast. Okay. So uh, we're in the we're in the room, and the lady says, "Oh, it's broke." The doctor says, "Oh, it's broke," and I was like, "Ah!" I said, "So I have to get a cast," and she says, "Yes." And so see my toes. Yes, I took time to go with my daughter, and we had our toes done. And uh, so my, I said, oh my gosh, what color am I going to get? And I thought, I'm getting purple, because purple stands for royalty. So that's the reason why I have a purple cast. Sure. Colors, colors, uh, colors and numbers have meaning in the Bible. So anyway, purple. So, I just had to say that. I didn't know they had colored casts now, so you can pick a color? Oh, yeah. They bring you a big chart out and everything. you got all kinds just, of beautiful just colors. Just about makes it worth breaking something, don't it? Yeah, because you can walk around colorful. So I have my purple toes and my purple cast. So at least I'm walking around in royalty. What else do you want to know? All of the Coke stuff up there has pretty much... I mean, some things I've brought in here, and some people things have donated. Like the ones on the end were in my uncle's house, the liters and half liters. Um... The coat cooler I found, uh, I think there's a thermometer up, it was a thermometer up there that my uncle wanted and he took it and I bought another one. The Pepsi cool, the Pepsi clock's been in here, the calendars, um, sometimes there's bottles I've bought that people are, you know, but for the most part all of those were in here. And I just went through and cleaned them and then kind of tried to get one of every kind. So then, we, we talked about it in the first video, but that's been over a year ago about the, um, post office over here that your grandmother run, was a postmaster and that's a picture of her right there right yes that's her and you're you're sitting i'm in sitting her in her chair, chair where she would yeah. sit yeah so she was postmaster from what years was it again i don't know the years but, but she, it was almost i i said for a long time she was the postmistress for uh, 40 years plus but then a, a man's family came in here and we got to doing a little bit of history and she was the postmistress for almost 40 years um so so she would um she got paid a hundred dollars a month the whole time that she had a career as a postmaster um all the way up did she quit and retired or did she pass away and she passed away and then that's and what dad, stopped it yeah. your dad did your dad do it too my dad did it and she asked twice in her career for a raise and they told her that they didn't have enough money to give her so she was she got paid a hundred dollars a month you had to be bonded of course you couldn't close on the holiday you know you only closed on the holidays. You couldn't just close because you were sick. You, the post office had to be open. Um, then my dad took it over, and then he got paid the same amount of money, um, too. So, um, until they closed. What year was it your dad quit doing it? Well, see, they took the post office out before he passed away. I don't know exactly. He died in January of 2010. So I'm not really sure. So it moved back down to Elgin? No, it actually went into Rugby. There's a post office in Rugby? Not anymore. They do, um, and actually they changed the whole system recently. Um, the, post the post office was in several places. My mom can remember going to Uppington House in Rugby, and she would go pick the mail up or deliver the mail. I can't remember how it was. But anyway, it's been several places. That would be a really historical, cool thing to do because... It's been here, it's been in houses, it was at the Board of Aid, in the commissary. I, I can't remember, it's been several places. But anyway, there was a man, um, actually I got that flag from, his family, his their mom, Robbie, was from here. And I'd have to go look on the thing because I can't remember his name. But anyway, he was from Indiana. His wife was from here, came down here, fell in love with the area, and uh, wanted to um, move here, but he couldn't hardly afford to so he applied for the post office job and he got it and that he ended up um, moving here and was the postmaster and it was interesting to me because um, he was the postmaster for six or seven years I may not be telling this exactly right but anyway not very long passed away in his field um, which is the field where I live they lived in that where I live it was crazy and um, Robbie the wife ran the mail for a while for about a year and then she moved back somewhere um up north i feel like is what they told me and um but then that's how that sign the u.s post office sign came here and then anyway and so it came up. back it wasn't here it was somewhere else it was there and then it came here that's how it came and that's how i figured out the genealogy of the time frame where for years i was saying um 
she was the postmistress for postmistress for over 40 years, but it was actually just a little less than 40 years, 38 years. So. That's what I do all day, every day. Non-stop. A lot of milkshakes. A lot of milkshakes. I've done a lot today. A lot, a lot. What's the largest order of milkshakes you made at one time? Oh, Lord. Probably our Rumbles. I, the first year I worked at Rumble, I was like, I'm never doing that again. Somebody else is on shakes because I ain't doing it. I mean, we had like 30 maybe at once. It was crazy. Crazy, crazy. They're too good not to get, though. Film her, and she's gonna kill me because I don't remember her name. But they're sweet. They're sweet little families from Georgia. Oh yeah. And they live up here. And maybe you could ask her what her most favorite thing is. It probably is riding with her neighbor Mike because he's crazy. You know Mike that you interviewed, the Prince yeah. by Wooden. Yeah. She comes up here anyway. I'm putting her on the spot. She That's may not okay. want to. Tell me your name again. Ellie. Ellie. Mm -hmm. I should know that, but see, when you have a broke leg and you get older, your brain just goes. Mm -hmm. Something happens. I don't know. Anyway, I think it's really neat that her family, uh, they actually bought the house that Lois, the connection with, that's the yeah. family, and they come up here, yeah, so Lois bought another piece of property, and they bought her property, and they're from Georgia, and correct me if I'm wrong, but you come up here kind of on the weekends, yeah. get away, mm -hmm. and they come here pretty frequent when you're up here. And I don't know what their favorite thing is. It may, I don't know, it may be my biscuits and gravy. Like I said, it may be. That's definitely Caroline's, and, my sister. Yeah. And then um, her neighbor, their neighbor, mm -hmm. Mike, so they have that common Mike, and you interviewed Mike, he befriended them and then started bringing the girls up here when you guys were, it's been, a, you guys have probably been here longer than what I realized. How many years have you been here? Uh, four. See? And, and, uh, so they would come up here and then, like one time, you'll have to tell them about the time. Uh, I'm going to tell and then I'm going to leave because I can talk the whole thing and I'm going to go set my pie up. But they brought Mike up here. They have You You probably didn't know about this and they had braided, was it you guys? Oh yeah, I braided his hair. Braided his hair. He was yeah, a good little. Hair. Yeah. And then they come up here and wanted to know what we thought, you know. Mm -hmm. And so, anyway. He was like, I'm not going to show him. I was like, you have to show him. Yeah, he, he took his hat. Yeah. yeah. So anyway. And I don't, I didn't get to meet him today. Uh, what's your name? Uh, my name's Quinn. Quinn. Gwen? Quinn. 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 Okay. Well, it's nice to meet you, Quinn. Nice I'm Tiffany. You. I didn't get to meet you today. A, because I was tired. B, because it was breakfast. I don't know. I probably didn't have enough coffee. And again, my brain's not. But anyway, talk to them. Because I think she'd be really cool to talk to. Because like I said, she can, I don't know, ask her whatever. Her, what her mom and dad does. Her mom's super sweet. She was asking about me today. But it's cool that they're not from the state of Tennessee. And they're from Georgia. Okay. You interview them. All right. I'm going to get me a water and set up my okay. pie okay. We got a horse in Georgia, sheep in Georgia, chickens, ducks. So, you're a cats, so you have a farm down there then? Yes, pretty much. Considered a farm? Yes. Okay. Well, so you like coming to the Brooks store to eat? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's nice to see everyone.